of like this color on me. I don't know. All right. Hmm. Subscribing to my channel. Why do I do that? What do you do when you have a headache? Nothing. Back of the day. Oh, this is not back of the day. How do I look right here? <coughs> How's the angle? The sun is coming in. There's nothing I can do about that. Does it look bad because the sun is coming in? Why do I always have these on? Oh, Lord. All right, let's see. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy. For those who don't know me and those who are returning, thank you so much for your support. I want to ask you that if you find this video fun and entertaining, give me a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and don't leave today without subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everyone for uh, subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I've seen uh, such a big growth on my channel lately that I'm so excited, but I am so grateful to you for taking your time to come in here and watch my videos. Stay tuned, close. We are very close to my goal, so I can do a giveaway to you guys and give back to the community. I'm waiting for a number and I'll tell you probably in my next video what number is that so I can um, do the giveaway. So stay tuned. I love you guys and appreciate you very much. As in my last video, I mentioned that I wanted to show you guys how I wrap the twillies on the handles of the bags right here. And I also wanted to show you a little trick that I have with what I call the clochette. And it's uh, from the Neverfuls, which are these Ugh. little pouches, but they you can use them also as a clutch. So I call them clochette. I don't know if that's such a word, but. I made it up anyways so i wanted to show you the alterations that i did on this and how easy it is to do it so those uh clutches or pochettes or clutchettes become more practical for your use so if this is something that you like or you're gonna find entertaining then stay tuned and like i said don't leave today without subscribing thank you so on the last video i had shown this one i uh the mark jacobs uh mini bag i had put a twilly on her and i had shown you really fast how i did it so i want to show you now exactly how i put a twilly on her handles let's do this one a little different i'm gonna try something that i saw and that i really really loved so this one is is the shorter twilly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it here um, over the handle and I'm going to do what I saw online, which was they took and crossed it and turned underneath and crossed it and turn and, and put this one and crossed it see like taking turns to cross it like that cross it underneath and then like this again cross it under and do this again okay and cross it Sorry, under and do this again and it's gonna be like such a pretty design kind of thing see that okay and it covers most of it and then when I'm here at the end so what I'm gonna do here is do a real knot right and then I wonder if I can do a ball let's try it right Let's see yeah I can do a little bow like this okay and <laughs> look at this how cute a little accessory with a bow and it looks cute okay the same way as you can leave it 
just like this and just leave the two little tails hang like that all right the bag that i'm using i lovely and love it's a pochette matisse so what i do with this one in this case is i'm gonna start by putting this little piece right here at the end and that's where at that end i'm gonna make a little knot okay i'll try and bring this up close to you enough so that you can see it there and i leave a little buddy ear situation like that okay and then that's where i'm gonna start by twisting this under and over and under and over until i get to the other end of the handle okay and i pull it tight that's why i did the knot already and it won't uh, move anywhere okay so i'm gonna nicely as i turn if you see my fingers you can see that i'm holding as i'm turning it around like this okay you see how pretty how the colors as you twisting it like this it starts showing the colors on the handle okay and right there i grab on to the last part that i twisted over and run it through there and tighten that not okay it's gonna do the same thing it's gonna have another bunny ear like that and of course you play around with it until it looks like you want it to look okay and one is longer than the other but that doesn't matter to me okay so you can see this one is shorter than this side but it doesn't matter but this is how you can do it on your pochette matisse this beautiful kate spade i have a review on this one also in the pochette matisse i'll link them as i show the bags on this one i'm gonna do this blue black fuchsia purple twilly which has beautiful colors okay and on this one what i'm gonna do in this case is i'm gonna add it on to this side which uh to me this is the front of the bag so i'm gonna add it onto that one and what i'll do is i'll leave a tail about that length and i do the same thing that i did with the other one what I first want to do is make a regular knot and bring it down to this side of the bag. Okay, make it nice and tight and right there. And then I start twisting over the handle. Twist and pull taut. twist and pull not really really tight super tight but you know tight enough to hold itself in its place right and i appreciate you staying for this long video but um in my previous video i did it really really sped it up and I didn't want to do that in this one because I really wanted to show you how to do this, right? And as you can see, what I do here is I stop and I look to see if the length is more or less the same because on this one, you have to try and do it equal because it will be noticeable. So it's a little short. So I un 
unrattle it a little and take it right back and then I'm gonna like it like that length you see okay because when you do the knot it's gonna take a few centimeters away so what I do I went over the top to tie it okay and I'm bringing it down a bit and I just tighten it just like that and it's not perfect but it's pretty much the same length see so that's how I would do that 20 right there next let's do my baby speedy 20 okay and let's do one of the handles and we're going to do this side because this is the right side up so there's different ways to do this one um i've seen people even put the twilly through this loop right here make the knot right there and it's gonna be in the outside of the handle okay and then they start twisting it and into the handle it is the same concept on all the twillies to be able to do the same twisting and twisting and twisting okay it's nothing different it's like that or do the knot in the in the other side as well you can do that and once you wrap it all and it's gonna have the little tail there right so another way that you can do it is just like we did the other one which was knot it right here okay and then it comes down the middle of this okay like a little bunny ear and it looks really really cute like that too and that's the way i prefer it but i've seen it done in different ways okay so you do what you like best try it you know and you do it as many ways as you want to and this one is a little long for this so what i did was wrap it around a few more times than the norm okay at the bottom and as long as it's nice and taut you won't even notice that it was a little longer on one side than the other okay so what i'm doing is pulling like this to make it nice and tight okay and there you go two little ears facing the same way and everything see every time you do it it's going to come out a little different and you're going to have a preference of one and the other and but i think that this is adorable just like that and she looks so cute just like that so, like i said this is serves as purposes of accessorizing but also protecting the raw leather so as you saw guys uh, the difference that a twilly can make on a bag it makes it look so so cute and it changes the look of the bag from being such a plain uh, bag into being such a beautiful accessory on the bag it gives it color it gives it a mm, you know and it makes it look very elegant i think so i hope you can follow that and be able to accessorize your bags okay that clutchette or pochette uh, from the Neverfull, that was how I decorated it or how I altered it and how I carry it at times with the accessory. Now this one right here does not have the alteration yet. And I'm gonna do it here with you guys so you can see how I alter her and what you're gonna need obviously is the clutchette from uh, the never falls also you're gonna need the, these type of ring studs 
with the screws and I'll put everything down here below in the description box with a link, but I'll show you these up close. I bought a pack of 12, I believe, and these are a little bigger than what I really wanted them, but they actually worked for me so that I can insert in the D-ring even two types of lobster clasp or whatever the case may be when I put the, the uh, long strap on this one as well as the accessory. So I'll show all of that right now for you, so stay tuned. Now let's get into the clochettes. This is the one that I added the extra D-ring here to be able to turn it into a shoulder bag or a um, crossbody bag with a chain or with different kind of straps. So for example, if you have that already on it, the good thing is that this right here, which is where it normally has the, the uh, wrist thing, so what I did for the cruise, I took this little accessory with me and I clipped it there, okay, right there. And then on the D-ring, I also clipped the other end here. And then I clipped here and here the long chain and I wore it on my shoulder, okay? And that makes it look so cute as a clutch you put your hand through and wear it like this as a clutch and it makes it look so pretty and of course the noise is what sells me right so the way i did that so i want you to see if you can see this little gap right here on the zipper Okay, right there, as tiny as can be. It's really, really tiny, that little gap right there. So that little gap right there in between, that's where you're gonna put this D-rings that come with a screw, okay. And as I said in the other video, I had bought these that were a little too large in this end, the D-ring itself. But for my purpose to put um, the chain and another chain, it worked perfect. And what I had to do in, in, the, in one of them, I don't remember which one, I had to take a screwdriver to her because it didn't want to go through and what I had to do was enlarge that the little gap that is there I had to enlarge it with a screwdriver this way okay and so that little gap right there is the one that I'm talking about so that little gap what you go with the screwdriver I mean with this screw okay and you're gonna go inside inside and under the zipper and you're gonna find a way to bring that out through there okay as you can see where it's there it's just I'm gonna have to open her up a little bit so I ran into a little problem with this clutchette and I'll try my hardest to show you exactly what happened with it. So I was trying and ready to do the alteration on it and um, I took it to, you know, try and open that little opening right there, which is the opening where the screw would come in from the bottom and the d-ring would be screwed on the top so i was, I was trying to get that opening uh stretched out like i did with my damier azure and the monogram one and for some reason i'm not able to and i see why 
the opening is so close to the canvas and you know not all clutchettes are made the same so it seems like on this one they pulled the the end of the zipper way close into the canvas so the way i did the other one was i took a regular screwdriver with a point and started you know uh messing with it until it opened up wide enough although it was tight but wide enough for the screw part of the ring to go in through the bottom and come out through here so then i could take this part and screw it right on right so i wasn't able to do it unfortunately with this one but and i'll use it this way only so i unassembled this one a little bit not completely because i don't want to take out the screw and then having too many problems to get it right back in so let me show you what i am talking about so that is the the um the bottom of this screw coming out through there as you can see all right and that is how we get it to where the screw comes out from the bottom okay and then we take this part of the g-ring all right that has the thread in there for the screw and what simply is done is you place it on top once that is gone through okay and you want to make sure you hold it so that it won't uh, go up again okay and you just place it on the top and screw it on like this all right and there we go and it's on so this is how you do this alteration on these um clutchettes and then you have the versatility to be able to add on for example this for accessorizing okay also you can have a strap a regular strap which is i think way too much um you know in this case this strap but you can use a smaller strap or a shorter strap or whatever and for example on the monogram one i have the pochette matisse the pochette Mitty strap and i've used that one with that. these are the options of you having this alteration done so that you can use this clutchette for more occasions and not having to sell her give her away or whatever the case may be all right so as you saw those are the alterations on these clochettes the way that i did it and again you know do this at your own discretion do not say daisy told me to do it um just be careful when you are doing it make sure you don't damage the zipper yeah. and like i said it's so easy to put these twillies on these bags it's not a difficult thing with that being said i'm gonna stop this video right here short and sweet and i wanted to thank you if you stood until the end of this video and like i said if you found this video fun and entertaining in any way give me a thumbs up click the notification bell and don't leave today without subscribing to my channel i thank you all so much and i love you guys and until next time ciao Wait, 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 wait. All right. <clears throat> this is not school. Mm -hmm. All right.